okay so this is problem number 19 where there are two topological spaces x and y and a continuous surjective function is given so f is a continuous surjective function from x to y okay and mm, you have to determine that uh, which of the properties are invariant under the map f that is so whether y if x is separable then y is separable if x is first countable then y is not whether if x is hostrop then y is hostrop or not if x is regular then y is regular or not okay so let me give you first the answer of this problem then i will give you a, a bunch of the properties which will uh, invariant under a continuous function okay so so first let me define what is separable so separable means it has a countable dense subset so it has so it means here x so it has a countable dense subset so dense just let me remind you what is dense so dense means so a set a inside x is set to be dense set to be dense in x if you take any uh, neighborhood of uh, x so if uh, sorry any open set in x so any u in the topology of x so a intersection u is non empty so then we say that a is dense in x okay so the second is that first countable okay so first countable So basically, first countable is like key. you take any point of x, you are having countable neighborhood around that. So each point has a countable neighborhood basis. Okay, so each uh, point has a countable neighborhood basis, and this these bases are local bases. So these are then this is of course local properties also. Local base. Okay. The third one is Hausdorff. Hausdorff and fourth one is regular. So third one is Hausdorff. Hausdorff. So, of course, many. It's uh, this definition is easy that you have any two point distinct point x and y. So there exist two disjoint open neighborhood. Okay. So U and V. So U V belongs to the topology of X such that U intersection V. And regular so regular means so you have a point and a closed set then you can separate a point and a closed set by some open set. So U V belongs to the topology so that U intersection V is empty. So you can separate a point and a closed set, then it is regular. You can separate two points, then it is hostile. And if you mm, just let me tell you the normal space as well. So if you can separate two closed sets, so these are basically the separability. 
uv belongs to tau x is that is intersection of h and t okay so if you can separate uh, the two point then it is hausdorff if you can separate a point and a closed set then it is regular if you can separate two closed set then it is normal so of course every hausdorff space is regular and every regular is normal so hausdorff hausdorff is inside regular and it is inside normal And the last one, yeah, last one is regular. Okay. So, okay. So let me tell the uh, the last three are not correct. So why? So see R with cofinite topology. What is cofinite topology? So cofinite is uh, your so the open sets are those sets which complements are finite. But union, of course, uh, the empty set will be always there. Okay, so either u is empty or u will be finite. Uh, X minus u is finite. Okay, so it's so so R with respect to cofinite topology, it is not Hausdorff. And hence not regular and hence not normal. It is also not first countable. Okay. So now you consider the map. R with usual topology to R with cofinite topology, the identity map. Okay, so clearly this identity map is continuous. So this map is continuous. Why? Because this cofinite topology. Is smaller than that usual topology, and it is surjective. So, but R with usual is it is first countable. It is Hausdorff. It is regular. And it is normal. But you see the right hand side that R with cofinite topology is neither first countable nor Hausdorff nor regular nor normal, nothing. So it means that these all the three properties are false. So these all three are false. So the option A is correct. Of course, you can prove the option A. It's easy to prove. Okay, so let us see the proof of option A. So, proof of A. So, if F is continuous from X to Y, then if uh, x is separable then y will also be separable so it means that we have to find a countable dense subset so see if x is separable so a is a countable dense subset so it 
it's a countable dense subset. So now my claim is that f of a will be a countable dense subset of So why so? Mm, yeah. So you see, you take any open set in Y. So let's take V is an open set in Y. Okay. So V is open in Y. Now what I need to show F A intersection V is not empty. So but let's suppose that what if this is empty so if empty then inverse of this also be empty also be empty okay. yeah. now you see that the inverse basically has a nice property that we can write it as f inverse f of a intersection f inverse v this has to be empty but it means that a intersection f inverse v is empty now since f is continuous so this is open so a intersection and open set is empty which is a contradiction so hence uh, that uh, that this is non empty okay so that's why it is separable and this proves the now let us see which are the some properties which uh, mm, preserves or not preserves under the continuous map so so let f is a map from x to y okay so it's a continuous and mm, it's a subjective so if A is open in X, then F of A need not be open. Similarly, the open can be removed or by closed as well. Okay, the third property is that if A is compact, so if A is compact, then F of A will also be compact. So it preserves compactness. It preserves connectedness so connectedness preserves this preserves even path connected so connected yes so path connected also preserves but locally connected locally connected or locally path connected is not preserved okay now so just now we saw that Hostoff is not preserved a regular normal first count table and even second count table These all are not preserved. Okay. 
and separability preserved. So the last thing then. is preserved. So this ends the analysis of this problem. So we did a large analysis of this problem. Of course, there are many topological properties that we have not discussed, but this is sufficient for this problem. Okay. Okay. Thank you.